let's get into Proverbs 27. Father, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for all that you promised that you would do and will do. Help us to be students of your word to see exactly what's on your mind. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Verse 1, boast not yourself of tomorrow. He said, don't boast of yourself what you plan to do tomorrow without me because tomorrow belongs to me. If you just do what you need to do this day, then you'll be doing well because of your folks. But don't boast about tomorrow. Why? Well, you don't know what day was tomorrow going to bring. <laughs> In other words, when we put off what we can do today and then we talk about what we'll do tomorrow, God said, that doesn't even make sense. If I'm talking to you today, then be busy doing what I said. Because tomorrow is not promised. Now, if it's the Lord's will, then you can say that. But please know that the day that he gave you an assignment, don't boast about what you're going to do tomorrow, whether or not you're going to do something that... It doesn't matter. He just said, just take care of what you can do today and do it well. Let another man praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. He said, <laughs> if your food tastes good, let somebody else say it. It can taste good to you. But don't praise yourself for it. You can say, this is really good. But giving yourself saying, I, I know I did that. Uh, I'm a good cook or uh, I'm the best. You can't look at what you do. Let somebody else taste it and then see whether or not it's as good as you think it is. In other words, <clears throat> whatever it is that we say, let it be said because somebody else agreed. And then let them say it. You sound better when you let somebody else praise you rather than you praising yourself. <clears throat> a stone heavy and the sand weighted, but a fool's wrath is heavy than them both. If a man is mad, it is heavy. He said, you can't deal with that. You cannot deal with it. It's too much. Leave people alone because it, 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 let people be people. And then... Uh, don't don't try to drag around something that's too heavy for God. It's not too heavy for God. Well, if God told a man to change and he won't, he's not going to make him change. So it's always a volunteer for us to volunteer to give it away. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous. But who's, who is able to stand before envy? He said, now I can talk about wrath and I can talk about somebody being outrageous, um, anger, he said, but I can't talk, I can't tell you a whole lot about somebody's envy. He said, that's deep. He said, that I can identify when somebody is mad. And I can identify when somebody is um, upset. Wrath is cruel. Anger is, out, is outrageous. But envy? That's an inside job. Can't see that? They smile sometimes. So I can't really control that. Open rebuke is better than secret love. It's better to tell me the truth openly than to say you love me and I don't know it. <laughs> Faithful are the wounds of a friend. If you got a good friend that will tell you the truth, I'm not talking about always tearing you down, because the truth is always not something to tear people down. But if you got a friend that will tell you the truth, keep them. Even if it hurts, sometimes when they say, keep that person. But the kisses of an enemy, no good, deceitful. People, you know, saying all kinds of stuff and then talking about your bag. He said, no, that ain't, that's, 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 it's not right. <clears throat> the full soul loathe the honeycomb. But to the hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. This word is full of bitter and sweet. I mean, when I say bitter, I mean things that got like cod, cod liver oil. And then um, grapes. Sweet, but all of it's good for you. But to a person that's full and don't need God's word, you can't even give him something out of God's word. He said, but a man that wants the right directions in life, he said, every word in the book is sweet. As bird that wanders from her nest, so is a man that wanders from his place. If a man has a home, you got a family, don't go nowhere else. If somebody is treating you right in your house, but you want to leave and go to it, whatever it is, if you got a place, 
and and it's called yours. Why are you wondering or wondering about something else that you already have? And it's good. In other words, if you got a wife, stay with your wife. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So does sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Just like nice lotions and perfume makes you, make you feel good, he's the so it, it is when you have a friend that will tell you the truth. Not own friend and your father's friend forsake not. If you got a friend, keep him. If your daddy got somebody in the family, keep him in the family. Neither go into your brother's house in the day of calamity. Don't drive a long way to go to your brother when you got friends right close to you. Because it's better to have a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. So God said, make friends wherever you go. Because you don't ever know what you're going to need. Rather than your brother stay on the other side of 300 miles away from you, you make friends where you are and then you'll, you, 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 you'll be wise. <laughs> my son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproach me. My son, please do right because this world is full of folk that are doing wrong. And when they reproach me, I want to say, at least my son treat me right. <laughs> a prudent man, a prudent foresees the evil and hides himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. A man that will pay attention to what he's about to purchase, rather than a person say, well, I want it, and I want it now, and you're going to hurt later. And a man that says, no, nah, I saw trouble come, so I decided not to do that. But a man that does what he does because I want it now, he said, you're going to have some problems. I know. I did it too many times. I see a car I want. I didn't count them. Motion at your ring video doorbell. A, fool, a foolish mindset I had. <laughs> he said, take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Uh, let me look at the 13th verse. It says, Take his garment, for he has put up security for a stranger. Get collateral if it is for foreigners. If you are prone to do favors for people that you don't know, and then you are in trouble, you need the words that make it hard on it. So you can stop that. So you can start looking into what is the best um, uh is this going to be in my best interest in the long run? Don't make deals with people you just met. And then I just, you know, I just met him. He said, take, take the guy wallet. <laughs> he said, because he don't know what he's doing. So he said, for his sake, help the brother out. Because he keep co-signing for people you don't know and keep making deals with people you don't know. Somebody get close enough to you and take your... Take your stuff and say, let me help you out to you learn some sense. That's just good sense. It didn't make sense to me. He that blesses friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse. If God said, I'm trying to teach us how to teach you how to act all the time. In earth. Don't get up in the morning and play your exercise music in the apartment next door to somebody still asleep. Don't blow your horn early in the morning waking up for He said, that's just common courtesy. That's how you, he said, I'm trying to teach you how to be different, people of God. Don't, don't be blowing horn, making noise, all your music, going outside, making people sleep. He said, man, be courteous. That's all he said. Be sweet. A continual drop in, the, in a very rainy day. And a contentious woman are like, okay, it's raining outside real hard, but the rain dripping on the inside. <laughs> he said, it a very hard rain outside, and you got a continuous dropping. You did not have to get involved with that person if you had checked them out, like, like, like he said, go look and see before you agree. So, you can find out whether a person is contentious by working with them. But if you're looking at me talking about, oh, you're so cute, I just like your shoes. Yeah, that ain't going to help you. But if you work with a person, then go out and eat and watch how they deal in business. And don't be so quick to say, I do. Because once you did, you might have something you hate you got. Anyway, pay attention to what you buy. Oh, Lord, please don't tell me. I don't even want to talk about the cupcakes. Because you don't think about the cupcake, it tastes good now. 
But I'm telling you now, you got to get them cupcakes off of you. Same thing, you got to be careful who you invite into your life. Whoever hides her, hides the wind. He said, if you find a contentious woman, you can hide her. And he said, about as good as you going to hide the wind. And the ointment of his right hand, Beret, he said, you, if you can hold some oil in your hand, you, you, got, you got about as much chance of holding oil in your hand, liquid oil in your hand, than you do have a woman you're going to change that's contentious. Well, she's so fine. You better buy her a picture. <laughs> Take a picture of her. Can't live with her. And that's the same thing going to a man. The word says in the 26th chapter, he said, you find a contentious man, it's like cold on top of cold, hot. He's not, he's not separated men, but when he just tell the truth, simple truth. Iron sharp as iron, so a man sharps, sharps the countenance of his friend. Iron sharpens iron, and when my friend tells me the truth, my face, my countenance changes. So thank you. I like that. Even if it didn't taste good. Iron makes iron sharper. A good friend make your face light up, especially because you know they're going to tell you the truth. Whoever keeps the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. thereof. He said, if you stay, get a job, you're going you're gonna, to um, always have. So he that waits on his masters shall be honored. If you got a job working for anybody or with anybody, you will be honored if you do your job well. As water face to face, so the heart of man to man. Water is the mirror, or it can be you look at yourself in the mirror and you see yourself. That's you. He said, and your heart is a reflection of really who you really are. What's in your heart is going to drip out of your lip. And if it does, don't try to prop it. Because we so big at looking at what color he is, his hair, his age, his teeth, and all the things like that. And then you, he said, that's not how you're going to tell what a person is like. All those things can change. What you really do is listen to how he speaks. Does he use profanity lightly in your presence? Think about what he does when he gets behind closed doors and you're locked in with it. Does he say things about, you know, I can go on, list, 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 it ain't time yet. I, I got a lot. Been living in long, you have seen a lot. But in a way, you don't make deals and things on how something looks. And then that's what we do. We so foolish. Here I am trying to make right decisions, got evidence of some things that I've changed. And you still looking at me, I don't like the way your hair look. You wasting my time. And I'm not going to dye my hair. Let me see your teeth. All those kind of things. And then you want to marry me based on my teeth. <laughs> and you make me laugh. I don't mean no harm. Y'all love y'all. That just people funny. How much you weigh? I do need to change that. Your case closed. Alright. That's why that's how we marry people. I just like the way you smile. I like your eyes. What they got to do with my heart? What is my lips saying? <laughs> Cause I can change all it is. And that's all you want? You should have got a picture of me. And what I said before, and it's still work. Get a cardboard picture. I, that is so foolish to me. All these, all these filters out here, I can look like I don't know what but a filter. And that's what you want. You better check out what I'm saying and doing. All right, where we are. Uh, you want to know the heart of a man? Let him talk. Watch his bank account. See if he gonna tell actually for some money, or she gonna ask you for money. That's what she wants. She wants to marry the bank. <laughs> and that's what he's looking for. I want you to be an ATM machine. I can't help you. I know too much. I seen a lot of stuff. Hell and destruction are never full. The word said never full. There's plenty of room. Plenty of destructions. 
destruction. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. You want you get your eyes off this book. You, you, this world will always, let me tell y'all something. Like I told my sons and I tell people, the candy store don't never stop making candy. I can't make my decision what Bob I want. I said, boy, don't you know women gonna be born every day? The hair gonna change. Everything changes. And you got you gotta sell it yourself. See, the hell and destruction, he said, your eyes ain't gonna never be satisfied. You better get something that works and work it. As the fine pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. If you want to praise somebody, and you might get something else out of this, but I'm gonna tell you what I got out of it. Take some uh take uh this hard thing and take it through the fire and you find out if you got and clean it up you find out if it's silver take something and take it through the fire find out if it's gold you want to find out whether a man is worthy to be prayed watch how he handles conflict watch how he handles business watch how he does things don't don't da, 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 da. don't go on the man boast about what he can do online you can write anything you can copy and paste but watch a man and how he handles conflict. You'll find out he's a fool. Woman too. How do you handle problems? Is a determination of what your heart can hold. Because in this life, you shall have problems. <laughs> Though you should be a brave fool in martyr among wheat and pest and with a pestle, yet will he not be separated from the foolishness. It will not depart. In other words, you can go get one of them things and just grind it and get it all the way to power. He said, if you do that to a fool, you can do it. You can. He said, you you gonna get. He's he's a fool. In other words, ain't nothing you can do. If God said I can't change him, don't waste your time. And he said, I don't even force a man to change. I ask him to change. And show him how to change and help him change. But if you don't want to change, why do you think if I can't do it being God, you can? He said, You waste your time. You better look at people and take them at face value. Walk around them. Don't problem. Don't make up things. If they if they are lying to you, what are they? They are lying. If they steal from you, well, you know, he he ain't mean to do it. Stop making excuses. Then hollering at God talking about what they did to you. God said, I tried to tell you that. I let you see that man earlier. You believe me. Now you're trying to tell me to fix me. Now he's I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you. Be patient. <laughs> I know why, because I've seen a lot of stuff. Be diligent to know the state of your flock. And look well to your stuff. Know what you got. Can you manage it? Do you know it? Um, know who you're dealing with. Know what works, what doesn't work. What's in your house you need to get rid of, something you need to keep. I mean, all this is not just to you, just to me. But riches are not forever. Somebody give you a lot of money, he said, don't bake on that. And does the crown endure every generation? Go over there in England and ask me, is that crown working? Or you got somebody that broke the rule and the crown got to skip you. He said, I'm telling you, the only thing that's going to make a man act right is hard work. He said, let me tell you how it works. The hay comes, that at some time the grass turns into hay, or however hay get it, get all dried up. Then you got time when the tender grass shows itself, things start growing. And herbs, and after a while the, the tender grass grows up and produces some fruit. And then the mountains of the mountains are gathered. So you get a chance to go through life and you're going to hard work instead of waiting, waiting on your uh, inheritance uh, or your lottery financial gain. And he said, but hard work will sustain you to work. You got to go through a process and that's something you can pass down from generation to generation to generation. Hard work. He said, just giving people money and I won't do it. But teach people the habit of working hard, they always have something. He said, the lambs, he said, this is how you know the state of your flock. He said, you got lambs, good for clothes. You got to worry about clothes. 
And goats are the price of the field. So the goats that you have, that's money right there. Work. Evidence. That's the price. But whatever it is that you have, if you got something to work with, you will always have. Work with. I don't lie the word work. And he said, this is what is going to happen, last verse, when you follow my instructions. Don't wait on the free money. That is not going to last. He said, but when you work hard, you're going to have goat milk enough for your food, yours personally. Then you're going to have enough food for your household. And for the maintenance, maintaining what you have for the maidens, the people that work for you. That's all God said through Solomon in uh, verse uh, chapter 27. Somebody asked me the other day, he said, when you give it this advice, did God say that or did who else say that? Oh, Solomon said that, so that means God is speaking. I can't get in that conversation. I can't. I can't. I can't get in that conversation, God. I, I can't. You don't want to ask me, God. I can't get in that. <laughs> Everything in this book was ordained by the mouth of God to be said because he said, I'm locking it in here. So now did God do every, say everything in now, but he let it be put in here so you can learn from it. Because somebody said something God didn't say and God said, tell him I said I ain't say that. <laughs> so get to know what God approved and said, okay, give him a call. And then I say this, let me, let me tell you where we are. Have, let me tell you how dangerous it is to have this instruction and don't read it. <clears throat> Abraham did not have this instruction in the book. Moses did not have this instruction in the book. The disciples did not have this book because it was written about all of them. We got it. And all of these people that set their lives up and God used what they did to get to us while we playing. This is the book of life. There is nothing in this book no choices that you could ever make that God did not already put in here and judged it. This is the last book. This is the last will and testament right here. This is all the promises left by God. We got every example. He gave us proverbs. He gave us what the fools did and the wise did. He said, you lack no, you have no reason not to trust me. Because I talk about everything a man would ever do in this book. And you don't have to judge him. Why? Because I already did. You can find your personality in this book. You can find your spending habits in this book. You can find how you envy or hate somebody in this book. The word of God says in chapter 27, if you lie to a person, you hate him. That's what the word said. If you lie, you hate it. So like I were you, I go tell them I lied. <laughs> I lied to you. This book will keep your marriage. It will keep your uh, business. It, it is the best customer service. It will tell you who lied, who wants your money, who don't care nothing about God. Because that word said, if a man is full, even the word of God don't mean nothing to him, as sweet as, as it is. He said, if a man is hungry, he'll eat everything God said. But a full man, a full man will not read this book, and neither will he allow anybody else to read it. Matthew 23, because he's full of himself. That's all I got to say. What y'all got to say? Good morning, Miss Brenda Howard. I'm listening. I thank you, Miss Latrice Scott. Well, all right, Latrice, me and you, every once in a while, let's stay in the book. Father, we thank you for your common sense. You didn't make it any greater because we couldn't afford to comprehend you anyway. You revealed and you concealed, but you gave us enough to live. And we thank you that this book works and helped us to do the things that look like we honor your 
um, leadership. And I ask you, Father, for everybody that has this book, that they will wake up and read it. Because in this book is life and the truth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Love you, Latrice. All right, talk to you later. Bye.